Oh, we're chasing him down. Yep. New Joanna Alford. Is that who I'm chasing? Is Joanna? No. <laughs> Come here, Joanna. <laughs> Your name is Joanna. Tackling. I'm tackling. Oh, I'm tackling. Oh. Nope. Apparently, I'm not tackling. <laughs> tackling. You can't outrun the cold train. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Oh, <laughs> no, he's getting away. Get him. Get him. Yeah, cold train into the bushes. Wow. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, that tackle was horrific. Oh, everybody. Oh, my God. Thank God those bushes blocked that. You did not want to see that. I slammed him like three or four times. It was not pretty. Whew. Welcome back to Cocktails and Consoles, awesome people. It's Melissa, and I'm a little miffed that this happened right after YouTube decided to crack down on swearing because I just filmed about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes of pretty decent footage that I can't use because Marilla's action decided it wanted to stop recording in the midst of all this. It recorded for 10 seconds and then stopped. Mother Sorry for the bleeps. Oh, better, no! better go hit the thing. Better go hit that switch again. 90 fucking percent! <laughs> better hit it quick. No! Come on! What? What did it say? Oh, you gotta hit that other button? No, no, no. It's on the other side here. Right there. Yes! <laughs> oh, God. You're 90 percent. Oh, was it in time? Uh-oh. I can't move. I can't move. Was it one or three? Was it one or three? Oh, I guess the sharks don't get to eat today. <gasps> did we do it? I think you did. <laughs> okay. Shifty, uh, shifty, shifty, shifty. Oh, man, they got me. I'm so busted, doubt. <laughs> Is the hires arsonist, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at Whoa! work. Whoa! And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Was she Sorry in the, the house when that happened? You did the right thing. What the fuck, dude? I like bigs. <laughs> Even more now. Oh my god. I've seen him before. He likes me. Yay, I actually timed that right. And where did my sparkly background go? Well, we can't win them all. What's up, guys? Happy hashtag Suck It Monday. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Melissa, aka Cocktails and Consoles. And this is our Monday Warriors Squad, where we like to tell Monday that they can go hashtag Suck It because we know how to not have a bad day on Mondays. So. If you are part of the OG squad here, you know what we do on Mondays. I don't know how loud the <laughs> game music is, or what the hell happened to my sparkly background, but that's fine. I can live through it. Anywho, if you're part of our OG squad, you know what comes next. I would love to hear from you guys how you guys told Monday to suck it, if you'd like to share it in chat, of how you actually had a great day today, something good that happened to you, or something that you good that you planned to happen to you. I'll kick it off. My hashtag suck it Monday was I got to treat myself to a wonderful big bowl of ramen. It was just what the soul needed, a good big bowl of soup with tons and tons of pasta. So if you'd like to share yours in chat, that would be awesome. Let's see who we have in chat. What is up to <gasps> Cody Guy, Andrew, Emmy, Kaiser, Russ, Scrolling, 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 Jacob, Alma, Desi, Oh, I hope I got everybody. Okay, if there's anyone I missed, please say hi in chat. This is our Death Road to Canada stream. Well, actually, it's our Monday stream because we kind of bounce back and forth between a couple of different games that you guys get to interact with. And one of the reasons why I love this stream or this game is because you guys can actually be characters in it. So here's how we do it. Man, I really need to crank up the lights on these things. I don't know why they're coming in so dark. Um... 
This is one of the games that I love because it allows me to kind of reward people for being members in the community. Now, everybody is welcome to be a character in the game, whether you're a sponsor or a regular viewer, does not matter. However, the game only allows us to pick the first two characters. After that, the game's going to auto-assign. So here's how we pick the first two characters. The first spot always goes to our sponsors because they are kind, wonderful people who help financially support this little channel that I built and is a way for me to say thank you. The second spot is open to anyone, be it a sponsor or a regular viewer. After that, the game is going to pick. So if you would like to be a character in the game, let's say hashtag Monday Warrior. Put hashtag Monday Warrior in chat, and I'm gonna start collecting names. But first, I'm gonna crank up the lights on these. Move, cat, move! Go, go! Thank you. Oh, that looks better. That looks much nicer. I actually haven't talked to Matt in a while. I miss him. I was watching our uh, Resident Evil 4 playthrough. Oh, he's such a good guy. All right, we've got... Let me start scratching stuff down here. you think I'd be better prepared. No. All right, we've got Emmy. We've got Ama. Thank you for being a sponsor, Ama. We've got Cody. We've got Guy, we've got Andrew, thank you for being a sponsor, Andrew. We have Russ. Starlight Dragon, what's up? Oh, you're Boris, oh cool, well, welcome back. Whatever happened to Scratch and Sniff? I know, I miss those stickers. What's up, Zippo? Starlight Dragon, ah. Okay, Pen. You have one job to do and you're failing. All right. If that's everybody, before we get into it, I'm gonna make cocktail with you guys. So this cocktail is the one that we featured in our uh, Batman cocktail, which I like to call the Dark Knight. It's actually modeled after a white Russian. So how to make it, take yourself a glass full of ice and you're gonna pour in equal parts vodka I recommend going with a non-flavored kind. Because any flavoring they add to vodka just tastes awful. Set that over to the side. To that, we are gonna add possibly the best flavor that Kahlua has ever come out with. This is their chili chocolate. Absolutely love this. It's, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's amazing. So if you are of legal age to drink, I highly recommend having this in your cabinets. There we go. Now, if we were to stop right here, this would be what is known a Black Russian, which isn't bad, it's just got a lot of bite. That's why I tend to prefer White Russians because the cream helps offset the bite a little bit. It basically tastes like uh, adult chocolate milk. And then we're gonna float on the top a little bit of half and half. Now, you can use low-fat milk, you can use non-fat milk, but I'll warn you now, it's gonna curdle. And the reason for that is because of the alcohol. So when it comes to milk, and when it comes to alcohol, you're gonna want the most fat you can possibly get in the milk. That will help to keep it from curdling. Oh yeah, Boris, we do cocktails on this channel. So I'm teaching you how to make one. Now you can, Serve it just like this. I don't like to because then you're drinking a lot of cream first, so I love to give it a stir. There we go. And you'll find it looks exactly like chocolate milk. Never heard of Black Russian, though. They, they aren't ordered that often, I'll say that. Most of the time you find people just order White Russians because the cream helps. Cheers, guys. Hope you guys had a wonderful Monday. Yes, this is a very classic cocktail. Okay, we ready to do this, Kitty? We're ready to do this. God, you can't almost see her. <laughs> this camera is so weird. All right, so we are going to head on over to our game scene here. 
And let me put up our wheel of buddies. Rumchata is popular for a reason. Yes, that is actually uh, horchata with rum added to it. Flavor wise, flavor wise, kind of tastes like a white Russian, just a little bit more ricey, which is a weird way to say it. But all right, so we've got Ama and Andrew. Submit. So, for the first spot, we will be kicking us off. Who's our leader? Andrew! All right! For the second spot, we've got Emmy, Cody, Guy, Russ, and Star Starlight. For our second position, it will be... Holy Moses, this is a full on sponsor run! Alright! Don't worry if your name did not get picked, the game is going to continually add people as we go on through the game. Let me go ahead and add this into our DRTC, thank you. Whoa, 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 camera, 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 chill, 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 chill. There we go. Alright, now let me make sure I have Starlight Dragon, because I think they are relative relatively new. All right, uh, custom characters. Da -da 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 Checking through the list. We have Guy, we've got a catchy. Earl we haven't seen in a long time. We've got Ama. This is Freeze. Kryptonic Ken we have not had in a while. I think I need to create Starlight. Yeah, I need to create Starlight. Okay. So, Starlight Dragon. Uh, I Let me know if you want to be male or female. It's President Day tomorrow for my college. They didn't give you today? That's bizarre. Cody, I need to add you? Okay, I will check for that. Alright, your perk shall be... We haven't had Ultra Fit in a while. Female. Okay, great. And yeah, let's keep your gourmand. Okay, so we're gonna go to body, make you female. Oh my god, that's so cute! All right, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. I'm gonna save you over Krypton, not Krypton again. No, um, damn it, where was he? I'm trying to keep this as up-to-date with the people who are actually here. Zombie Hunter we have not seen in a while. There we go. Let's see. Let me do a last purge. Um, Bob, yes. Officer Dan, Asher, Liz, Lady Plague, Russ, Jacob, Melissa, Kyle. Did you ever see the Sonic movie? I did not. You got today free. Nice! Oh, hi, Ketchy! All right, I'm gonna save you up there. Why do we not have Cody? That's bizarre. All right, so let's make Cody real fast. I was playing DRTC today. It was me, Guy, you, and my friend Hola. We made it to Canada. That's awesome. All right, let's see here. Cat, I'm trying to type. Do you mind? We haven't had a friend of dog in a while. They're blaming the Sonic movie for Birds of Prey failing. Wow, that's desperate. And... Calm under fire. Cody's got a good temper. Alright, let's change up the top. Let's change up those bottoms. That looks pretty damn good. Alright. Let's change up the shades. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna save that. Boom! We have Cody! Who looks oddly like Guy. That was weird. <laughs> Maybe that's why I thought it looked good, because I just looked at it. Well, you guys have different shades. Okay. So we're going to choose new game. Empty slot. You should make your cat into a character. <laughs> Alright, so for game mode, we only ever have familiar characters only, because we only wanted people from the 
community, our leader, hey Melissa, is going to be Andrew. Da, 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 da. Remember when like most of these pages were filled? That was insane. And our buddy is going to be Ama. Da, 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 da. Weirdly enough, both of our mods. <laughs> Where's Ama? There's Ama. Boom! Alright, so our leader is Andrew, our buddy is Ama. Game mode is familiar characters only, and we're going to start. Now, as we play this game, you guys get to choose our face. So every time we come up to one of these, where we come up to, uh, do you choose this path or do you choose this path? Every one of you in chat gets one vote per person. The first option to get two votes is the one that we go forward with. So, when we come to one of these, not this one, this is just the intro. I will ask you guys in chat to pick one of those. First one to get two votes is the one that we go forward with. Okay, hold on. Let me scroll this over. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the likes. You guys are awesome. I've, it was so cool of you guys to throw in likes even before the stream started. That was really cool. By the way, we do have a Death Row to Canada cooking video coming soon. I'm really excited for that one. It'll be like... If YouTube was a thing in the zombie uh, apocalypse, I really can't wait to make it. I got to have today off and right now currently have a four day week. That's awesome. Got on a fedora at the moment. That is cool, Cody. Andrew hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free from the threat of the zombies. So nothing to gain. For waiting around Florida, he decides to break the death road and travel north. Let's hit the road. To start on the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You all seem to find ways to train and grow your team. Do we hit the quiet factory, Yo Mart, or the quiet hotel? You guys vote in chat. We should go to Alaska. <laughs> all right, one for Yo Mart, two for Yo Mart. We're going to Yo Mart. Group spots an abandoned Yalmart off in the distance. Looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. I gotta remember now how to play this again. Ha! Ah, every time. <laughs> the Mart of Yal. <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's give Alma a flashlight, because we need someone with a flashlight. Mmm. More cocktail for me, and here we go. Let's boogie! Um. Um. I, I have forgotten the commands again. Crap. Every time you think I would remember. Okay. I kind of remember now. We're a little bit better. Okay, Yama, we must go. Fly, you fools. Oh, die! Thank you. Thank you for dying. Oh god, oh god, bathroom of death, bathroom of death. <gasps> Can we get the genie? Can we get the genie? Can we get the genie? Can this guy die? Okay, there we go. That horrible movie earned a hundred million? Jesus. <laughs> I love that Ava is killing zombies with the corpse of a zombie. With the white girl dance off. If that could win in the zombie apocalypse, I would be so sad. Damn it. I want Toilet Genie! Oh. Okay, we gotta go. We all forget them when we play games. <laughs> It's- it's true! I- you know, muscle memory tries to click in, but it has been a while. Oh, the Sonic movie, gotcha. We said making sure they get boned one last time. Ha! <laughs> Love it! The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things. <coughs> God, I almost <coughs> choked there. But that would make a lot of noise. Do we just go to sleep or do we tinker all night? You guys vote in chat. One for tinker. 
How much is this game? I think it's fairly cheap. Two for Tinker. We're gonna tinker all night and party all day. Who should tinker with the broken machinery? Andrew or Ama? You guys vote. Whilst I drink. One for Ama. Two for Ama. Let me know if I need to turn the game volume up. Alma spends all night taking stuff apart and putting them back together. It's very noisy. The group will be very tired tomorrow. The group drives in the city and starts to get dark. Trying to lose track of time. Things can get bad after the sun sets. Do we hit the apartment with the bark banner or the camp supply shop? You guys vote in chat. But she wanted the credit. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. One for Bork. One for camp supplies. Two for camp supplies. We're going to the camp supply shop. Excuse us. Thank you. Die! <gasps> yes! <gasps> yes! Um. There we go. Ah, oh, my machete. I loves my machete. Thank you, thank you. That did uh, die! Kill Alright, why are they standing around our car? Leave our car alone. Use us, we're, we're, we're trying to rob people. That always looks like a pack of smokes, not bullets. Oh, hi, sorry. We'll leave you to your bathroom, sir. Ah! Doi! Ooh, hello. Big building. Big building. You just imagine Alma legit killing zombies with a zombie. Oh, I can too! Is totally real. Smoky bullets? I'll take it! Oh my god, I can't wait to do the cooking video for this one. It is an idea I've had for, I kid you not, like a year and a half. I was actually going to film it before I left California. Oops. I just didn't get around to it in time. Why Rusty Machete is this a store? No wonder no one's buying them. I know, right? Who wants a rusty knife? Uh, I need to cut food. I don't want rust in my steak. Damn it! Who feng shuied this build? How many bathrooms does a building need? There's like no beds and nine bathrooms. It's like someone's first time in Sims. <laughs> Why not a rusty Zoidberg? I think that's a drink, actually. The group meets a man trying to repair his broken car. He clearly has no idea what he's doing. Should we help him fix it? Should we recruit him? Or is there no time to help? You guys vote in chat! Forget how well someone can sleep in a tub. Oh no, that's uncomfortable. One for recruit, two for recruit. Alright, old man. The group accepts Karen to the team. Karen joins the team. You OG people know what's coming next. Onward to Canada! And yes, that will be in the video too. By the way, if you would like that video in your sub playlist, if you haven't already, you want to hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. I, I, hi, hi, hi. The group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? Do we send Andrew, Karen, Amaterasu, or wait until morning? You guys vote in chat. I must pet kitty. Yes, I love seeing that in chat. We have a Karen on the team. We do. One for Ama. 
It's only uncomfortable if you A, don't have a big enough tub, and B, don't have lots and lots of blanket and pillows. Even still, it's uncom uncomfortable. Two for Ama. Wow, we're gonna make Ama work. Wait, a Karen? I think she took the kids and ran off. That bitch Karen. Alma siphons the gas, but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Hi, where are you going? Meow. Such a Karen. That may actually be the title. Bandits appear all wearing sweatbands and all super buff. Even their cat. They demand protein powder. They will also expect accept a remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. Do we give in to the bandits? Does Andrew challenge them to a pulls off? Or do we refuse and fight? You guys vote in chat! What, Karen's not gonna challenge them to oppose off? Who's addicted to drinking gasoline? I'm guessing she's not alive anymore. One for Andrew! Two for Andrew. Oh boy, here we go. Andrew challenges the bandits to oppose off! By some strange twist of fate, he somehow wins the pose off due to a little known loophole in the bodybuilding judge's rule book. The bandits are pretty angry about this, but their hands are tied by the rules. Nicely done, Andrew! Let's give a <laughs> golf clap for Mr. Andrew. Outside of Canada, blah blah blah, Trader Camp! I'm Tonomi. Don't you know me? Wait, that joke doesn't work as well. Uh, let's see here. One grenade for 20 ZP? Uh, no. See ya. Uh, let's see. We don't have a lot of money. See you. Oh my god, is that me? Ah! Dogtails is hanging around the camp. She has been waiting for you to show up. I'm gonna recruit me. Don't worry, you can kick me if someone else from the community shows up. Cocktails is glad to be back. Cocktails joins the team one more time, loud and proud. Onward to Canada! And drinky time. Mm -hmm. Yes! So let's talk to the guy lifting weights. We have no money! Oh, I remember sleep cock. Yeah, that was funny. Wait, you guys... Thought we saw Liz here? It's an old but fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass in bulk with an intense strength routine. I am not going to give six food for training, but we're going to try with the charm. I hope other people are saying out loud besides me and my neighbors reporting me to the cops. Andrew gets free strength training. He already clearly feels pump, as the bodybuilders used to say before they were all wiped out. Nicely done. Andrew is going to be too swole to control in a little bit. Some weird people here. Is there anything in here? Group finds a dumpster. It's locked tight with a slot in the side. Oh, no. All right. Let us vomitos. My neighbor's like, yeah, there's a weird chick next door who keeps screaming onward to Canada. I think she might be on meth. I don't know. Whoa, it's Melissa. It's a nicely familiar face. She's staring at a map with an expression of total confusion. Mm. Anyone who is in chat automatically gets recruited. The group is full. Who would you like to replace to make room for Melissa? I'm going to give you guys two options here. Do we kick Karen or do we kick me? I will not be offended. You guys vote in chat. One for Karen. Two for Karen. <laughs> I want one. What's your emergency? We have some weird ass Canadian terrorists. Please help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm starting my own cult. We will make it to Canada. I don't know what we're gonna do there. Maybe free healthcare. I don't know. But it, it, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Bye, Karen! Karen gets booted out of the group to make room for Melissa. Melissa joins the team. <gasps> if you guys aren't saying this at home, I'm gonna feel real embarrassed. Onward!
Return to Canada! God, that feels good. I would gladly join the call. Thank you! We have lots of Kool-Aid! I'm kidding, we don't have Kool-Aid. We have Cosmopolitans. Onward to Maple Leaf. <laughs> the group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. The group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. Here we go. Oh no, they never called the cops on me. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, she's armed to the teeth. Holy hell. Well, welcome to the team, Melissa. God damn. And here I am with my measly little crowbar and my pistole that I keep in my little garter belt. Akechi, did you really have to say it out loud? Yes! I. It's what we've been doing for literally years! <laughs> Give someone else a gun because I can't shoot it. You know, that is true. But I am going to leave you with my most favorite weapon. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm going to keep that up there. Spine with skull accessory. I love that. God damn, we are fucking armed to the teeth. Die! Die more! Shit. This is kind of bad. Die lots! Okay, so if you've never played this before, the best thing I can recommend is in these sieges, clear out as much as you can early, because you are going to run out of room real fast. If you do not have a good kite path, and we technically kind of do, but it's very tiny, and there's only one path, so we want to be a little bit careful about this. Okay, ladies, I did not arm you to the teeth for you guys to pick the worst weapon you have and do nothing. My god, Andrew the bodybuilder's getting tired! Break out the fucking mag tens! I think you are a gun collector. Oh, see you just over. Nice. What a lovely way to spend a Sunday. Fuck, fuck. Okay, come on, boys. We should wear Canadian clothing. We actually do have Onward to Canada shirts. Uh, oh fuck, I don't know if I still have the link. I, I will resurrect that. The link is still good. I think it's Teespring slash Onward to Canada? Uh, I don't remember. Any OG people know? <laughs> um, I forget how much they are. I think... Ah, you know what? Hold on, we have a second. I'll show you. Here we go. Okay, of course, it's showing up backwards, but this is the shirt. It is from Teespring, so I think it's... Oh, how much? Like, Oh my god, look at that Ama. Thank you so much. Yes, that is the link. And the artwork is done by one Miss Penny Bowtie. The back still says... <laughs> The link to the Twitch channel, I gotta change that. So you know what, Ama, I'm gonna pop that up to remind myself to change that over. But yes, these are the shirts, and they are remarkably soft. I think we make like two bucks off of them. So I mean, this isn't a huge cash grab, just in case you guys were worried. And you are like legit to be worried, because there are a lot of fucking shady ass YouTubers out there who are just here to make money. Now, would I be butthurt if I started making millions off this? No. It would allow me to do this full time. But if you get into YouTube for the only purpose of making money, one, you're going to have a hard time. 
And two, it's going to show in your content. Anyways, that's been my TED Talk. Now, could we ever have movie night? <laughs> Not on YouTube, we can't. Uh, and actually, rabbit.io or rabb.it, whatever the old uh, movie night service was, has actually gone under. Because that's copyrighted material. I'd like to, because it'd be a great way to kind of reward sponsors, but... Unless you're streaming on Twitch, who doesn't seem to give a shit about copywritten content. Doesn't happen. Exactly. On YouTube, that is a very fast way to a fast ban. Exactly. Take my money. You guys were sweet. That reminds me, too. I need to get the, um, the tank top for the video. Oh my god, I'm being a pain in the ass even in this game. I'm sorry. I can't help but be an operations manager. It's just in my it's in my blood. The group feels inspired after managing to survive the situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Do we pick morale and random, mechanical, fitness, or does Ama get plus two shooting? You guys vote. <gasps> in chat. One for morale. Two for morale. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Morale increases. Andrew's mechanical increases. Amma's shooting increases. So we got her a shooting upgrade. Melissa's strength increases. And Cocktail's medical increases. Never trust medical to the lady who drinks. I'm just gonna say. The study, in my opinion, is I buy a shirt, grab a weapon, and run to Canada until I arrest it. Yeah, and then people are going to look at the shirt and contact me like, So, got a legion or something? And then I got to explain it. And, you know, you only want to explain to the authorities one time that you have a YouTube channel. And the last time I did it, <laughs> when the emergency crews were there, it was not a fun conversation. Oh, well, you make the cocktail, so the liquor will help replace anesthesia. And, you know, given the number of people, like, not to scare you guys, but this is a real thing. Uh, there are some people who, when they go into anesthesia, they are, like, fully conscious. While doctors are operating on them. So always, always good if you're about to have a procedure that requires anesthesia for them to test your response to anesthesia. And they will be okay. If they're not okay with that, find yourself another doctor. Anywho, at the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside, and the doors of the house are barely on the hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Do we pick someone to secure it or stay and watch all night? One's for secure, two for secure. Who should barricade the house? Melissa, Ama, Cocktails, or Andrew? You guys vote. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Not that I'm re re recommending this at all. There are times when I actually have to have, like, dental work or something done. I throw back a couple shots of uh, whiskey when I get there. Mmm. Good night, Boris. One for Andrew. One for Ama. I was nervous to get my wisdom teeth removed that I would be conscious during, but thankfully I wasn't. Good! I'm hoping they tested your response to the anesthesia before they just put you under. <laughs> Melissa says, not me! Alright, we have a tie. Oh, we've been making Alma do a fair amount of work, so we're gonna make Andrew work. Bitch, you better work. Andrew barricades the flimsy house. He improvises. His results don't look pretty, but managed to keep the zombies out. <laughs> nice sweet done, Andrew. On creepy night, I woke up at the end of my wisdom tea surgery, went back under for an additional five minutes because they wanted me to be limp for the stitches. Holy hell. I used to gargle whiskey because of my infected wisdom tooth. It, it, it's how they did it in the Old West. Again, I am not saying you should do this. But if you don't have access to anesthesia... 
I'm not sure if they did. They probably should have. Now, I am saying this every time I've ever gone under. They've never tested my response to it either. And I'm pretty pissed because I've had like my whole face unzippered when I had my jaw surgery. And if the anesthesia wasn't going to take, that's something I probably should have known. It did take. I was fine. Just saying. Started talking about Super Mario Galaxy and Doctor Strange. I'm not surprised. Why did my morale decrease? What, did I want him to fail? What the fuck is that? Why am I such a bitch in this game? It wouldn't be- uh, yeah, I mean... Again, I don't want to scare you guys, but... There are tales of people being fully awake during, like, vasectomies and a bunch of other stuff. After the start of surgery, they look at your stats closely when you first go to sleep. It can vary per surgery. That's true. They do do that. Uh, the anesthesiologist is supposed to be monitoring your vitals during the whole thing. I didn't test you, Jesus. The group tries to loot a grocery store, but it's been picked absolutely clean. Melissa finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read. Pick his magazine! American G-U-N-S. Turnkey and good to go. I still have no idea what that is. Cat video pictures or giant farts monthly. You got... Of course. Of course. I know my community. It's all about the cat video pictures. Where are my cats? <laughs> Looking for your supper. Come here. That's what the title says. Just picture of cat videos. It was pointless and better times, but got really popular after the internet went down. That's what I'm going to do. If the zombie apocalypse happens and the internet goes down... I will be the queen of the cat video picture empire. That is how I make money in the Zombocalypse. Oh, new construction houses. Oh, okay. My family has very heavy history of malignant hypothermia. So I don't use normal anesthesia. For all my wisdom teeth to be pulled, I simply got a Novocaine shot. Holy shit, woman! Oh my god! As my cat lays on me snoring. <laughs> Hi, Melissa's cat! Oh, lidocaine. Well, that's better than Novocaine, I think. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I don't know which one is more... I don't know. Oh, gothic farm. While I'm driving to Death Road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Do we hit to the hardware store, the gothic farm, or drive around some more? You guys vote in chat. I think lidocaine is more powerful. I think that's also what they use to cut cocaine, so. Or is it heroin? I don't know. You know, Florida was one of the safest places in the U.S. from the look of this universe. <laughs> one for gothic, two for gothic. Lidocaine is potent, but short-lived. Also more likely to stop your heart. Oh my god. It reminds me of, like, what's that one that killed Michael Jackson? Fentanyl? Ugh. What is up? Okay, you guys can't see this. Hold on. Um, what is that? What is that face? Uh, is that the guy from the painting? Are we raiding his farm? Because if so, fuck yeah! The group sees a farm swarmed by an angry horde. Two old-fashioned farmers run into their house. Oh my god, it is! <laughs> it's the husband and wife! They could still be saved! We must do this! Ugh! That is the farmer from American Gothic or the Adams Family. That's true. Let's try to save them. Oh my god. I, I don't know why I'm so pumped for some reason. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh wow. Okay, this is- Oh, this is bad! Ah! No, 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 no! They better have that pitchfork. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I whiffed that one. Hi! Let's track down Ma! Okay. Is she in here? Ma? Ma! 
<gasps> With a hatchet! Yes! Thanks for the burgers! Is <laughs> the alcohol hitting you fast? No! For some reason, I'm just in like a great mood! Oh, this looks like lots of death. Did we go in here? We didn't go in here yet. Oh, oh it's a goddamn knitting needle. No! That is a doomed knitting needle. That is a straight up sickle. It is! Why did I think it was a hatchet? You're right, it is a sickle. Thank you for the six bullets. Doi! Oh crap. Oh, this is so bad. I was thinking scythe or scythe. I never figured out how to pronounce that word. One of my most favorite weapons, but it'll tire you out quick. Ah, oh, god damn it. No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh 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 fuck. Better be an undead. Okay, there's a rabid chicken that's killing shit. Hi! We have undead chicken and piglet! <laughs> there's a spider's web on the ceiling. This is exactly like Charlotte's web. The pig squints at the group. Pigs are well known for their flavor and the constant hopping around. They can't drive cars. Do we leave them alone or do we recruit the pig? Lord of Cancer! What's up, dude? One for recruit! Come on, give me another recruit! Two for recruit! Yes! Come along, piglet. The group is full. Who would you like to replace? Who the fuck is Jade? Um, uh, Do we pick someone else or do we leave Jade behind? Lindsay! What's up? How are you doing? Oh my god, recruit. <laughs> One for leave, Jade. One for pick. Who is Jade? I have no clue. We are leaving Jade behind. If Jade is the old woman, this is why you have to name your children carefully. Imagine what that name is going to look like on them when they're 80. Yay! We have pig! I don't know why this makes me so happy. And I want to drive that tractor. Let's get in the car! 10,000 people. <gasps> Jade was the pig! No! Oh no! Group escapes from the <laughs> We lost Jade the pig. Ma escapes the farm. Thanks to you. Pa survives. Thanks to your help. Grateful to be alive. They offer you a gift. And it's not a pig. Stash of ten food. Pa's fix em up tips. Ma's home remedies. Or a sturdy sickle. What are we taking? Uh, I, I hate. That was your votes. That was your votes. I- I can't interfere with the votes! One for food! Two for home remedies! Two for food! The group has led to a stash of pickled fruits, vegetables, and weird meat. Some of those that are actually going to be in the cooking video. The spider will convince us not to, Cody. <laughs> We could have had a powerful spider. The group was able to get a chicken out of the farm. A chicken wouldn't make for a good recruit. It could be set free or butchered for food. It doesn't have much meat on it, but it could be good for some chicken nuggets. Do we set the chicken free or nuggetify chicken? Please speak good Christians. Oh, really? One for nuggetify. One, two for negatify, three for negatify. You know what? You carry that blood on you next time you go to Kentucky Fried Chicken. And you know what? Don't judge me because I'm probably going there tomorrow. 
I am not a Christian. Nuggets! <laughs>
just a crazy bomb lover from transsexual Transylvania. I don't know why this song popped in my head. Anyways, Jim, okay. You guys in chat may need to be careful now because Guy is under uh, duress to start voting as Andrew votes. So get your votes in quick. The group sees a gym with a massive amount of undead in it. It's a bad idea to go in there, but then again, you don't want to mess up your workout schedule. <sighs> Duh. You'll need a spotter for this. I miss Rocky Horror. I never got to go see the live show. I was so bummed. Oh my god. Okay, can, can, can we just stop and, and look at how beautiful that is? Like, I, I should never use one of those because knowing me, I'd probably have the part that fires sitting behind me. But it would be funny. Okay, what's Emmy got for weapons? Oh, she has her katana. We're good. I've seen it live in the Midnight Show. You lucky. Did you have to go through where they mark you the virgin? Ooh, Gatorade. Holy crap! I'm not digging this place. Oh, but they're so nice to rack all the free whites. Come hither, peoples. Oh, son of a bitch. I want to close the door, not... Thank you. Holy God! No, I don't want a gym membership. God damn it. <gasps> Wait, can we? Can we? Crap. We got a lot of these guys to kill. Yes, we can! There's a fully loaded Olympic weight set here. The amount of weight on it can be adjusted down to a less hernia-causing amount. Andrew considers taking a break to get some strong training as he is guarded. Does he lift the lightweight, lift the heavyweight, lift the massive weight, or leave it for now? You guys vote in chat! Dana! What's up, girl? You like? Thank you so much! You lift things up and put them down. What is your leader's weight? I have no clue. <laughs> First time I remember that, my mom posted that in Facebook. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. Oh, and they did paint me with the V. That's hilarious. One for massive, one for heavy. Two for heavy. All right, so we're not going to have him throw out his back. Andrew takes off some weight from the barbell, but not so much that he can't get super pumped. He makes a lot of strange grunting noises. As the bar gets lifted. What a workout! Now we're past during the impromptu workout session. Let's get the fuck out of here. Twenty fifth birthday! Happy birthday, girl! Uh oh, our car is smoking. Our car is vaping. Whoa, it's Ross! It's nice to see a familiar face. He's yelling at some survivors because they have made fun of his hair. Um, we don't have any spots open. We haven't heard from Russ in a bit, so we're going to leave him behind for now. Because everyone in chat has been active, or everyone in the group has been active in chat. Andrew is too swole to control. Bandits kept the group by surprise in a real terrible spot for them to fight in. They demand all food. And half of the supplies are handed over in your money or your life. Andrew offers a compromise. Alma says we can fight them or do we run for it? You guys vote in chat. One for Alma. Two for Alma. <gasps> can we get a quick prayer? I know. I can't seem to get the audio to load. I do apologize for that. Shall fight with my swoleness. Always wary, Ava was on the guard before the ambush. She dashed to a nearby but easy to overlook bit of cover. Everyone follows her. The bandits lose their overwhelming advantage and run away after a brief fight. Nice job! <laughs> Death is upon us. Almost. No, we're actually doing okay. We should probably get some meds, though. The group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go, and none are heading to Canada. Do we camp with them? Does Alma doesn't trust them? Or do we drive off with no sleep? You guys vote! 
One for camp, one for Ama. Two for camp. The group takes a risk and goes sleep in the crowded camp. Nothing unusual happens. The group didn't have nearly enough food to eat and doubt festers. Oh shit. Okay, we need food. Ooh, we need food. The group drives into the outskirts of the city. Zombies mill around, but they haven't seemed to notice the car yet. Do we hit the gun shop or the bar? You guys vote in chat. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this stream, first of all, welcome to all you new people. My name is Melissa, aka Cocktails and Consoles. This is our Monday Warrior stream, also known as hashtag Suck it Monday stream, which is a big multiplayer stream with games that you guys get to be involved in. We have this every Monday along with a Friday stream and a Sunday cooking stream. If you like to get these notifications in your sub playlist, you want to hit the sub button down below. And if you're enjoying the stream, you want to throw me a thumbs up, that'd be great. One for bar, two for bar. You are so my people. I hope it's good bar food too. There's nothing worse than a bar with bad bar food. <laughs> Snake up upside the head with some vodka. Holy crap, Dana! Thank you so much! Oh my god, that's so nice of you! Thank you! I will totally put that towards our upcoming uh, Death Door to Canada cooking video, which is coming soon. Yay! I hope you guys like it! I'm going to show you a way to love vegetables that will, oddly enough, survive the zombie apocalypse and will make some vegetables that you guys would normally hate really friggin' delicious. Oh, thank you. Can we give a round of applause for Dana? That's so wonderful. Thank you. Cannot wait, Mel. Thank you. I'm so excited. That's Boogie. Boogie, 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 Boogie. Die! Boogie, 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 Boogie. Hi! Die! Moe's Pub. Wow! <gasps> it's a love meter! It's an old-fashioned love tester machine. Will this reveal hidden truths about Andrew? We're gonna friggin' use it. Andrew's love tester rating. Date haver. It's a weird setting. Andrew feels oddly flattered by this. The love tester makes a terrible grinding noise. Something in it must be broken. Oh. Where's our drunk person? There they are. Your cooking is a bomb. Thank you! I'm so glad you guys love that. Andrew has seen this kind of thing before. The person clearly drank too much soda. Judging from the bottles lying around, now she's in need of food to even out her blood sugar. Do we leave her alone, or do we poke her for four hours? Not... One for poke, two for poke, three for poke, let's poke. Andrew pokes Crystal to wake her from the sleep. It takes four consecutive hours of continuous poking. Okay, I'm awake! She says she'll follow you around for a while. Also, you should meet her outside of town if you both make it. Crap, 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 crap! Oh, that's right. Facebook has an annoying poke functionality. Oh, such a dumb thing to create. I hate Facebook. Ooh, I have hiccups. I am so sorry. For some reason, I have hiccups. Food! Oh, thank God. And cold bullets. Thank you. Give me my chips! Those are barbecue chips, and I want them. Uh-oh. It's getting dark. I can hear that the music has gotten cool. Yes. Damn it. Where's her toilet, Genie? Ooh, hello. Ah, junk. I love this music. Who needs food when you have toilet burgers? That's true. And also, you. Where's our car? Oh, hi. Oh, shit. 
Come on, car. Come on, car. Stay together. Christelle. Catches up with the group at a safe spot. She offers a reward and thanks for saving her. Alma sizes up her skills. Christelle. Strength is revealed. Fitness is re revealed. We're not going to recruit her because everyone in here is people in our chat. So do we get group shooting training or a stash of 60 rifle ammo? You guys vote in chat. Ah. My nose is getting stuffed up. Sorry, guys. One for training, two for training. The group gets all sorts of secret shooting tips from Crystal. The training ends and Crystal disappear dis disappears. Departs. Said ammo fresh from the oven. <laughs> The group encounters a library in the town that seems to have mostly burnt down. Andrew finds a single book that avoided being really damaged by the fire. What was the book? Gigantic repair manual, self-help book on positivity, or rhyming children's book? Aren't they all? You guys vote in chat. One for self-help, two for self-help. Hot butts, get your hot butts. The group learns a lot about the power of staying positive. Hi, babies. Oh, look at your face. Look at you're out of frame. Look at your face. The car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. Do we abandon the car? Does Andrew attempt to fix it or does Melissa punch it a lot? One for punch. Two for punch. <gasps> Secret prayer for Melissa's knuckles. <laughs> Melissa opens the car's hood, starts punching. She is surprised as anyone when the engine roars to life. Okay, golf claps for Melissa. Nicely done. Car is completely ran out of gas and we're fucked. Well, it was still a valiant effort. The group is ambushed while crossing a rickety bridge over a river. The bandits demand a toll to cross. They want the remainder of your food, a quarter of your ammo, and medical supplies. Do we give in? Do we refuse and fight? Or did Ama expect this? You guys vote in chat. No, she was great at punching. We just ran out of gas. One for Ama, two for Ama. Mom expected an ambush, so she walked through the bridge alone, carrying nothing. The bandits are annoyed by her lack of stuff and crappy attitude, so they <gasps> toss her over the bridge! It's thankfully not a bad fall! While this is happening, the other members sneak past the bridge with the supplies. Ama, thank you for your service. Oh god, we need to get her some health. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry and they eat an extra meal. The group didn't have nearly enough food. Oh no! Alma rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to the wounds, but we lack the medical supplies. <laughs> While walking, Emmy stubs her toe badly. It's not a big deal, but it's really annoying. It's got singles my age in it. Oh really? Sounds gross and a big waste of time. I do not want to be rude and not go, though. It's fair enough, Ice. Good luck tomorrow. I mean, I've thrown a man out a window. I guess it's fair. There is a story I want to hear. The group finds a rest stop after hours of walking along the road. Right in front is a car that looks like it could be driven. The keys must be around somewhere. Let's check out the car. All right. We need Das Keys. And Das Cereal. Hello, Keys. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Close the door. Ah. Uh. We need more gas. Where is gas? Maybe here? Damn it. We gotta run. Oh, we gotta run. Okay, let's get in the car. 
you drinking tonight? Yes, we are. We are drinking a white Russian from our uh, Batman cocktail. And actually, speaking of, I need to reload this real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and mute the game audio real fast. We're going to click on over to our uh, sizzle reel for about two minutes. I will be right back. New Joanna Alford. Is that who I'm chasing? Is Joanna? No. <laughs> Come here, Joanna. <laughs> Your name is Joanna. Tackling. Now. I'm tackling. Oh, I'm tackling. <laughs> no, apparently I'm not tackling. <laughs> tackling. You can't outrun the cold train. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Oh, <laughs> no, he's getting away. Get him. Get him. Yeah, cold train into the bushes. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That tackle was horrific. Oh, everybody. Oh, my God. Thank God those bushes blocked that. You did not want to see that. I slammed him like three or four times. It was not pretty. Whew. Welcome back to Cocktails and Consoles, awesome people. It's Melissa, and I'm a little miffed that this happened right after YouTube decided to crack down on swearing because I just filmed about... I don't know, 30, 45 minutes of pretty decent footage that I can't use because Marilla's action decided it wanted to stop recording in the midst of all this and record for 10 seconds and then stopped. Mother Okay, sorry for the bleeps. Better go hit the thing. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to reboot my drink there. Okay. So, real quick before we get back in the game, if you're joining us for the first time, never wondered how to make a white Russian. We're going to go through the steps one more time. First thing you're going to need is some just basic vodka is fine. Unflavored because flavored vodka is awful. So we're going to do equal parts of that and Kahlua, if you can find it. The flavored Kahlua is best and this chili chocolate is out of sight. Hey, Chris Gleason, what's up? How have you been? Seeing that clip in your LA apartment makes me aww. aww. I know, I'm watching some of these clips like, man, I want to go back and watch those videos. <laughs> like, not to pimp my own shit. I really just put them on because they're kind of like, like the funny clips out of all of it. But I do get a little sentimental because it was so much fun making those videos. Unfortunately, Let's Play videos don't do shit anymore on YouTube, so... Like, there's no mileage in making them anymore, sadly. So I figured, you know what, we're just gonna stream it anyways, because streaming is where everything is at. And then finally, you're gonna want either whole milk or half and half. I. Honestly, don't recommend going um, whipping cream because there's just a flavor in whipping cream that's just not good. Half and half is the nice interim. It gives you the creaminess, allows you to avoid curdling, and yeah. And then take that and give it a good stir. And it's gonna look like and taste like adult chocolate milk. I grabbed him by his belt loop and, oh wait, hold on. When I worked for Taco Bell, my coworker forgot to lock our back window. I'd already pulled the cash drawer and was counting it down. My coworker and I heard some strange sounds. So I walked over to the drive through window to see a guy frantically bent over trying to yank our empty drawer out. What an asshole. I grabbed him by his belt loop and the top of his hoodie and threw him out the window. That is awesome. He came back saying he would sue for assault. <clears throat> I said if he broke my window, I would break his face. This is why you don't fuck with Alma. <laughs> you came back pounding on our window? What a dickhead. Was he high? I know it's all about one-offs or big name games that are lucrative. Too true. YouTube has definitely changed. That's why I never recommend anyone. Like, even if you have something that kicks off on YouTube, Never leave your full-time job for either YouTube or Twitch 
because it's such a volatile market. It, it, it's like assuming that you're going to be able to pay your bills by winning the lottery every month. Oh, shit! Oh, there was an alert and I missed it. Damn it. And now it's not going to show up in my feed. Thank you to whoever... I think that was uh, a new sub. Thank you to whoever just subbed. It is a new sub. Hold on. Let me see if I can see it in the view. I can't see. Hold on. Luan Loud, thank you so much for subbing. That's so nice of you. I'm Melissa, by the way. We do live streams every Friday, Sunday, and Monday. Sunday is our live our, our cooking live stream. So if you're in the if you're a fan of cooking, we do do cookings on that. Okay. Back to the game. Sorry about that. We have one burger. Ugh. Campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of smell is a complete mystery. Do we endure the smell or drive up with no sleep? You guys vote in chat. Hey, Kyle, what's up? I think he was drunk. It sounds like it. It's a marketing business, but it's not as stable as the main market. It's true. YouTube is all about marketing. Which is why, even in 2020, you still see those dumbass thumbnails with people like... Like, really? That was a thing when it was 2012, but YouTube has come up with nothing else, so it's all about, Can you believe what I found in this mystery box I paid for? And honestly, it's like the Home Alone. Ah! It's the same fucking thumbnail. Anyways. One for Endure, two for Endure. Oh, good night, Ice! The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They're not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep, but we have no food! I enjoyed Jackbox. Awesome! I'm glad. Emmy, under intense pressure, starts to get shaky hands from the stress. Emmy's shooting decreases. It's so quiet here. There's no signs of life or unlife. It seems like everyone took what they could. They evacuated the town immediately. I just realized I'm whispering and I don't even know if it's getting through my noise gate. Do we scavenge the town thoroughly or loot quickly and run? You guys vote in chat. Got a mock exam tomorrow. I'm not ready. Well, go get ready. One for loot. One for scavenge. Yeah, Lady Plague crushed it in earwax. Two for scavenge. The group combs the town for supplies left behind, but gets ambushed by a single zombo. Ama, already paranoid, is not surprised by the zombie and easily avoids it. We need to get some health, goddamn. Emmy accidentally slams her hand in the car door. Ouch! In anger, she gets out and kicks the tire, stubbing her toes. Makes her blow a casket! I have an actual test tomorrow, but that'll be pretty easy because it's math. I love math! Except for calculus. Hated calculus. This is the worst! The group continues making progress, blah blah blah, trader camp. Oh, it's on fire! Fabulous! Okay, we need meds or food. I don't care what you got. Oh, shit. Alright. Do we save up for ZP or get a battle rodent for 20? You guys vote. You have a test tomorrow, too? How many people have tests? Like, becoming Test Tuesday. Oh, the 911 dispatcher! I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. One for gas, one for battle rodent. Any other votes? Two for gas. All right. Wow. Guy voted for something Andrew didn't want. That's going to be uncomfortable phone conversation later. I'm having a fire sale. Absolutely 
everything must go! Uh, no. Well, this time I got 99%. Nice! Well, I remember Kyle. While driving the car, Melissa gets into a big argument with Ama. Do we keep driving and arguing? Do we take a break for the day? Or does Melissa drive faster? You guys vote in chat! You'll pay for it in four weeks when I see him in person. <laughs> One for break, two for break! The group stops the car and sets up camp near the road so that Melissa and Alma can get some space. This works, but it wastes a day. <laughs> We're out of food again. Alma rolls up her sleeves, but we lack med supplies. The group tries to evade a large horde. Blocked by debris, they get stuck in a Yamard parking lot. They are going to have to fight here for a while. Oh, son of a biznatch. I'm trying to come up with more clever ways of swearing, because, you know, it's YouTube. Oh god, what the hell? <gasps> meds, 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 give me, it's mine! You're already dead, meds won't help you. Bugger off. I'm taking the cereal, I'm taking the cereal! All right, we're gonna duck outside and then head back in. Come on, boys. He's a good boy. <gasps> There's a good zombie. Yes. All right. Secret to this game is kiting. If you've never played an MMO, that's not gonna make much sense to you. But let me tell you, it's the only way I'm good at games. <laughs> Yay! And that's how you do it. Everything must go! <laughs> Including life! I would love to get a pet stop. You know what I want? What was her name? Michone in The Walking Dead? Who had not only a katana, but two pet zombos. I, I would say I would like to be Michone, and then I remember what happened to her and fuck that noise. Um... How does someone with a katana and two pet zombos have to go through the life that she went through? I, I don't understand how they created her. That was a... Okay, you know, feel free to tell me that I'm wrong. I only know, like, surface level of The Walking Dead, but... You don't create a character that badass and make her the most... damaged character? It just seems weird. Oh, Michonne. Okay, I thought it was Michone. Thank you for correcting me. By the way, I love that name. Might name my child that if I ever have a kid. Andrew decides to blow off some steam by delivering a seemingly endless rant to everyone. Do we ignore it or do we tell Andrew to shut up? Guy, here's your chance for revenge. What say you, sir? Damage is the path to strength, but I don't think she ever recovered. One for tell Andrew to shut up. One for ignore. <laughs> Two for tell Andrew to shut it. Well, the people have spoken. I say let him talk it out. You're a good boyfriend. Everyone tells Andrew to shut it. He doesn't take this well. <gasps> the group in a huff. Oh, Michonne. Okay. I, I, I'm used to Italian, which if you put an E at the end of something, it's A. Get in here. What do you... This cat always does this. She will leave a room to start crying because she wants me to get up and go find her. Ain't gonna happen. The group feels inspired after managing to survive the situation. They feel like they're getting hang of this. Do we get morale and random shooting, strength, or faster run speed? You guys vote in chat. One for morale, two for morale. Every day is a great teacher as long as your cat stops whining. 
Morale increases, Alma's strength increases, Melissa's fitness increases, and Emmy's medical increases. You can just barely hear the cat. Oh, I hear her pretty loud. Cars complete run of gas and coast to the stop. Group spots a car speeding down the road. Maybe the stranger can help them. Without slowing down, the driver yells out, <gasps> No! That's gonna be a lovely gif. And then the car is gone. Group spots an old boot on the side of the road. Doesn't look like anyone's size, but hey, it's free. Surely is a symbol of good luck. And yeah, we'll get that boot. What'd you get in here, you whiny brat? Alma spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They run over to discover a car that looks suspiciously like the car they started their journey in. Alma takes the key she kept from the old car and sticks the ignition. It starts! Mm. The group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. God damn it, now I have hiccups. The berries won't be a big amount of food for the work and the sleepless night, but every little bit could help. Do we pick berries all night or go to sleep? You guys vote in chat. One for pick berries. Yeah, nerds are the people who survived the apocalypse. That's true. One for sleep. Two for berries. The group picks berries all night and puts them into whatever containers are handy. Although in food's not bad. Though we lose six. <laughs> Emmy whines incessantly how everyone is a jerk. <gasps> Such a harsh. Ah! Emmy is a lightning rod, but for dogs. A dog approaches the group out of nowhere and seems eager to join up. Do we leave? Ask Clementine to join, or do we leave Clementine behind? I know the name is Clemente. I don't care. I'm not calling him that. Name's Clementine. One for Doggo join. Two for Doggo join. The group accepts Clementine to the team. Clementine joins the team. Y'all better be saying this with me. Onward to Canada! I just want to see how long I can hold that note. All right. Well, get up here. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> the black one's still here. While well, driving on the death road, the group decides to make stop for supplies. Do we hit the secure junkyard, the stash in the woods, or drive around some more? You guys vote in chat. One for stash, two for stash. Melissa is driving through the forest at night. She takes a wrong turn and hits the end of the road. Nearby to the north, she can barely see the shape of a cabin. Let's investigate. Clementine! Well, we can't give you the bazooka. Almost got the scythe. Is that really what that is? No, the sickle. That's right. Melissa, we are going to upgrade your golf club to Shetty. Give him the bazooka. He's going to lose it. Like, at first opportunity, he's going to lose it. And y'all know this. Oh, this sickle ain't doing shickle. Come on. I need that food! I need that food! Oh, another machete! Alma finds a magazine in good condition among the ruined magazines and books. The magazine title is Cool Runnings Man. She stuffs it in her pack. Alright, we outie. I have to be careful, she is low on health! Do we have any gas? Anywhere? Please. No? Fuck you, game. I'm not picking up the- WHY DID YOU DO THAT?! Well, that's what you get. That Diogo deserves it. <laughs> 
right. Maybe we have enough we can patch... Alma back to life. The group now has a magazine, Cool Runnings, man. Who should get to read it? Melissa, Alma, Clementine, or Emmy? You guys vote in chat. Whilst I drink. One for Clementine. One for Melissa. One for Alma. One for Emmy. Two for Alma. Alma gets to read Cool Runnings, man. She absorbs the content. Sadly, she ruins the magazine for others due to her grimy fingers. Okay, well, everyone's health is doing better. Emmy really feels that she has to sneeze. This feeling drags on, but there is no sneeze. This may turn into one of those times the sneeze is lost. Combined with the pressures of the zombocalypse, this could break Emmy's morale. Does she try to sneeze? Smash self on nose? Snort animal dander? Or snort spicy food and cost two food? You guys vote in chat. Oh, poor Alma. One for snort animal. <laughs> One for sneeze. Two for animal dander. Here we go. Emmy really stuffs her nose on Clementine and snorts. This coaxes is out a good sneeze. Just get up in there like it's a line of coke. <laughs> Snort the dog! The group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. They find a row of cans just sitting on a wood fence. Do we leave the camp or do we shoot the cans? You guys vote in chat! One for leave! Two for leave. I agree, Lindsay. Oh, it's Jacob! It's a nice to see familiar face. He's humming a little song and hasn't noticed the group yet. I haven't seen Jacob in chat in a bit, so we're going to leave him behind unless he says something in the next 30 seconds. Not to put him on the spot. By the way, thank you guys so much for the eight likes. It's so nice of you. I really hate to harp on and on about the likes, but honestly, it amazes me that YouTube has not gotten rid of the dislike button, especially since their video is the one that's most heavily disliked. Ooh. Oh, you're Bob. Okay. That's good, because I almost got rid of your character, because we haven't seen you in a bit. You don't have a Twitch emote, so you just gotta make your own table flip. <laughs> in a house with a generator attached, the group stumbles onto a working computer. It's one of the older style ones, when the monitors were built with the, like an enormous brick with glass in the front. The group salivates. Finally, finally, a chance to watch YouTube videos. What, were they sponsored? Do we try to get on the internet? Do we play cute basic games instead? Or do we siphon the generator? You guys vote in chat. Does it help with the algorithms? Because getting more dislikes than likes can get you demonetized. One for siphon. Yeah, sorry, Bob. We, um, we had to close down the tavern because... Uh, Ken and Dwarf needed the time back in their lives, um, you know, to help with real world stuff. Two for siphon. Okay. The group siphons the gas out of the house's generator. There's a good amount left. Power shuts down along with the chance to go on the net. 
Yes, but don't worry, we are streaming here Friday nights, we're doing Okami. Sunday, we are doing live cooking streams for the first time ever. They seem to be going pretty well, hope you guys are liking them. Any recommendations you have, please let me know in chat, because I want to make sure that you are getting the most out of these streams. And Monday nights is multiplayer Mondays. While driving on the death road, the group size bank stop for supplies. Do we hit the bullet ridden house? Commercial road, or drive around some more? You guys vote in chat! One for Bullet Ridden House, one for Commercial Row, two for Commercial Row. Arcade Tavern is no more. That's true. Now, Ken may still stream kind of ad hoc. Dwarf may still stream ad hoc, but likely they're going to do it on their own individual channels on Twitch. So if you're not following them on Twitch, it is Kryptonic Ken on Twitch and it is Deskbound Dwarf on Twitch. The group drives near a city's commercial district, a short distance away. Some shops are visible. This seems worth checking out. Let's go take a look. There's a pub! I like this place. I want a drink! <gasps> so mean. Saw you stream one day on the YouTubes and got real giddy. Oh, thank you, Cody! I mean, don't get me wrong, YouTube definitely has its share of problems, but I am I am very much glad to be back to making uh, pre-recorded content because I really did miss making, um, you know, the cocktail videos, the cooking videos, all of those. So I'm glad I'm finally in a house that I can do that without, like, disrupting a lot of people's lives to make that happen. Proper 12 Irish whiskey tastes like dial hand soap smells. Ew, really? That sucks. I am in- I'm still trying to find a really good whiskey. Now, fuck, was it Woodford Reserve? I want to say it's wood for reserve. They do an especial, which, oh my god, the one they just made is incredible. It's like $45 a shot, but uh, how can I put this? It is like, take what Johnny Walker Blue Label wishes it was and mix it with some high octane and you have what this Woodford Reserve Especial is. It's crazy good. I think it goes for like either $150 to $250 a bottle. They only make it once ever, but it is like 110% proof and is one of the best whiskeys I've ever had. Not something I recommend for all occasions. I probably recommend if you're celebrating uh, go somewhere that has it and get it as a shot. You will be paying a markup, but it's not something you're going to drink on the regular and not something you want to drink, drink on the regular. I know it's weird for me to be saying this, but if you train your palate to like this level of whiskey, you're going to be really disappointed with anything else. Slain is really good. It's Irish whiskey, very light, tastes very smooth. I'll have to check that out. You know, I I paid out of pocket for Johnny Walker Blue twice. Once because uh, Dispound Dwarf got some good news, so I bought us a bottle of it. And once, I think it was his birthday, and I bought it. And it's good. But against the price point, it was really disappointing. Plus, it's a blend, so Johnny Walker can go fuck themselves. The group goes up against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Is Ama is cool about fire safety, or do we run out now? You guys vote in chat. One for run. Two for run. Okay, you're missing an opportunity, but here we go. Group runs out of the situation. Unfortunately, a lot of supplies got left behind that weren't in the car. The other option would have saved you guys some uh, 
supplies. Johnny Walker's not bad if you're mixing it as a cocktail, like Four Horsemen. Four Horsemen, the way I make it, no fucking tequila because ew. Uh, the blend of four scotches or whiskey, one of the two. It's Johnny, Jameson, Jim Beam, and I always forget what the last one is. Johnny, Jameson, Jim Beam. Shit, I'm going to go back and check my own video. But if you mix those four together, together they come together like Captain Planet and make a scotch that is incredible out of like low grade whiskey and it's it's wonderful. I can't wait for Stranger Things 4. No way Hopper is dead. No way Hopper is dead. They could not kill their most favorite character. And I don't give a shit about Eleven. Hopper is the best character. You're not a Scotch fan, though? That's fair. That is fair. Everyone has their most favorite um, grain alcohol. Weirdly enough, mine is actually vodka. Second is Scotch. The group explores a fairly quiet city. There's a good chance to resupply in relative safety. Do we hit the coffee shop or the strength and fitness gym? You guys vote. One for coffee. He did show up in the newest season trailer. I knew they couldn't kill him off. It was stupid. <laughs> oh, I have hiccups. <clears throat> I have to be careful with vodka. I wake up naked with random women. Depends if that's a bad thing for you. Two for coffee. All right. Let's go get some caffeine. Uh, you know, honestly, Eleven is not my most favorite character. I think she was great in season one. I think she was boring in season two. She was a plot point in season three to make Mike more interesting. I don't know. I I really love what they did in season three by putting the emphasis on Hopper and uh, the mother. And they put a big emphasis on Steve. And I think Steve is a great character. Steve was at risk of becoming a very one-note character had they been like, oh my god, he's only about this girl. And they decided to make him branch out. Like, Steve was the best part of season two, in my opinion. And feel free to disagree with me. I totally understand. Everyone has their favorites. What was the best season so far? For me, season three. I thought season three had it all. I absolutely loved Steve and... Oh, what's her name? I haven't watched this season in a while. It would make sense to understand the characters better more. Oh no, you have to go through season one to be able to understand what's going on. I absolutely recommend that. Season two felt like a regurgitated season one. To me. And, and that's just to me. I mean, it may be different for others. And that's awesome if you got more stuff out of season two. I really wish I did. This enormous and complex coffee machine was built to survive a few da, 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 different kinds of end-of-the-world scenarios. This was a big part of the coffee shop's marketing campaign. Truth and advertising! It still works. We're going to give Amma some coffee. Amma sprays some coffee into an old cup lying around and drinks it. She feels all coffeeed up! Let us run! Die! Die more! Fuck, what was her name? I ah, I can't think of her name. It's like the first time I've seen her in anything. She is a child of two very famous acting parents. And I can't think of their names. Hawk. Uh, Ethan Hawk and... Oh, what's... Damn it! Okay, people in chat, help me out. I can't think. Maya Rudolph? Is that her name? Why did that name just come to my head? Who's Maya Rudolph? 
can't spell Erica without America. You know, she was surprisingly good. I didn't think I was going to like her, but... Oh, you thought season three was bland. Interesting. Fuck, who is Maya Rudolph? Hold on, I gotta Google this now. Why did that name come to mind? Maya Rudolph. That is not who I was thinking of. Never mind, she is not in Stranger Things. Hold on. Wow. Stranger Things. Season 3. You've never seen Stranger Things? Okay. Emmy, I'm giving you a homework assignment. If you have Netflix, go watch Season 1. Power through Season 2 and enjoy Season 3. Hold on. What the fuck was her name? I love David Harbour. He is he's my new Jesus. Joe Carey is way too hot. Uh, Natalie Dyer's not bad. Maya Hawk! That's why I was thinking Maya Rudolph. Maya Hawk, Ethan Hawk, and who's? Uma Thurman? Yes, Uma Thurman, Ethan Hawk. That is their daughter. She did a great job in season three. They're gonna make a new Witcher game, but thank God. I hope they get what's his name to do the voice because, like, he's so hot, I had a dream about him. It was quite fun. As the group searches an abandoned house, a miracle happens. They find a government ration box unopened to their horror. It turns out there's dog poop sitting right on the handle of the supply box. There's no way of opening it without touching the poo. Do we say no way, gross, ignore it, or have someone open it? Okay, you're gonna... You're... Hey, Queen Guy, what's up? Who should open the crate? Warning! This is really gross. There's dog poo on the crate. This could be a big deal. Do we sacrifice Ama, Emmy, Melissa, or Clementine? One for Clementine! We'll make the dog do it. They eat cat poo, it's fine. One for Emmy. One for Ama. Wow. Chris Pratt was in that new movie, which honestly, I don't think did better because he was in it. Oh, there was two for Clementine. Thank you. The dog poop mysteriously disappears before Clementine nudges the box open. Clementine looks really... Oh! <gasps> Clementine! Bad dog! Ooh, you're cooking spaghetti. Nice. The group camps for the night off a quiet stretch of the road. In the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured and it's just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. Do we leave the moose alone? Does Ama treat its injury? Does Melissa shoot the moose? Or does Alma wrestle the moose? You guys vote in chat. God damn you people. I mean, it's like you want her to die. Blood is on your hands. Blood is on your hands. Alma wrestles the moose. Alma locks with the hooves in a test of strength and with power. willpower. She doesn't win. In a blatant disregard for wrestling rules, the moose crushes her with its hooves. Alma, may you haunt them for the rest of your days. The group runs into a very out of place vending machine. It looks like someone made it from chunks of scrap iron. The lights are still on. 
Everything in the machine costs $20, and the group has about that much in wrinkled and frayed bills. Do we leave it alone? Do we get a real revolver set? Do we get a box of bandage, which may not be a bad idea, or a stick? You guys vote. It's really the moose's fault. Yeah, yeah, l let's put it on the moose. Not the two people that made that outcome happen. One for bandage, one for revolver, two for bandage. Who should feed the mostly rotted dollar bill into the vending machine? Warning! This will be a very annoying process. Melissa, Emmy, or leave it alone. <laughs> Y'all told me to shut in the car. This is payback. <laughs> one for Emmy. One for Melissa, two for Melissa. It takes forever to feed in the dollar bills. The vending machine keeps spitting them out. A large box of box, God, I can't read tonight, of medicated bandages pops out of the vending machine. Yay! Oh my god, I think it's a half and half. My sinuses are acting up. The group spends so much effort arguing with each other that they don't notice they've driven into the middle of an overwhelming sea of zombies. No, 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 I'm not even going to give you the option. We are fighting. We're fighting! Why the fuck do we have a leaf blower? You know what? No. 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 Fuck. This is really bad. The dog may die because of your decisions. I just want you to know this. And doggo blood will be on your head. Oh, Alma's gone and dead, yes. No, you do what you need to do, because overcooked pasta is the worst. I totally under- oh shit. I totally understand. I'm in charge of a dog. I don't know if I can save us. There are swarms of undead coming in, and I've got a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. I can't get over there. Fuck! I don't think we're making it, guys. Oh, there we go. There's one person dead. Come on, timer. Timer, we have one hope here. And you need to help us out. Alright, I'm sacrificing the dog. You made this happen. Thank you, Emmy. I was hoping someone would get that reference. No, no, no! Bazooka was saved for the final run to Canada. Thank you for the F's in chat. Alright, what time is it? 10.25. Uh, let's play some Jackbox. We don't have enough time for one more round, so we're gonna play some Jackbox. If you would like to play with us, you are more than welcome to. Let me go ahead and get everything prepped here. Just go to jackbox.tv. We're going to play some motherfucking trivia.
once I can get it to find party pack six. Thank you. Yay. There's our bath of unholy tar. All right. We're going to play some trivia murder party. God, I love this game so much. Code is CIWP. I'll put that in chat. If you'd like to play with us, just go to jackbox.tv. Link is down below. Uh, the only two things we ask, one, if you play one game, if you could hold off on loading in the next game for about 20 seconds. And second, please make sure you're logging in with your name in chat. If I don't recognize your name, I will kick you. I don't know if we're going to have time, Emmy. You know what? Where is- hold on. I haven't worn this in a while. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, that feels a little better. Still got three spots open if anyone wants them. <laughs> it's it's in the list. Trust me, it's in the list, Andrew. If work hadn't gotten crazy, we'd have a new sizzle reel by now. Hashtag Fedora Squad. You know it. No one else? Ten? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody's in. I love this intro. Okay, I need either a cooking something or a cocktail something for this game. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in chat. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party 2, but you're so smart, you don't need me to explain anything to you, so... First question. What car is parked closest to the four Beatles on the Abbey Road album cover? Oh shit, I don't know. A trivia meatloaf cake? Interesting. Fuck, what do they drive? In England. I think that one, because we don't drive that in the States. The correct answer is... Son of a bitch! Right. The rest of you... Fine! I don't have a big love of the Beatles. Eh. I loved Revolver. It was a great album. Abbey Road sucked ass. Fight me. Let's play a dice game. We start by handing out extra dice. Oh god, you all are gonna kill me. A little too even-handed, if you ask me. But you know what? Time to roll. You used to be my favorite person. The highest total dies. Hey, this is oh, on you, God. Emmy. <laughs> you had the chance. I'm just saying. I'm not comfortable with silence, so I talk during elevator rides. Me too! And you didn't. Liar. 
Let's keep moving. If you spin the big wheel on the Price is Right, how many possible spaces could you land on? Oh, I don't know. I love that game. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I look weird with fedora and a white beater on. This. Fuck! <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. <laughs> Everyone else will answer too. <laughs> and if anyone matches you, you die. Oh, oh, try me. I know what's in your head. There was a cocktail? Tell me about the cocktail. Now, let's see if there are any matches. Y'all forgot about hydrogen. No, you did it! Son of a bitch! I lost my headpiece. I was gonna say hydrogen, but I thought you all would go for helium. My family used to make a killing running this old hotel, and I'm here to make sure that killing never ends. I'm just gonna be over here. Let's try another one. Hi. How old is the moon? Why did you all think of hydrogen? Why did you not think of helium? This. Fuck. One of you is still alive. I want to show you something. This is not my night for trivia. Let's just let's just call it what it is. Give it a spin. I gotta admit, this is nobody's favorite game. Did you fucking give him life? This is why I like the loser wheel so much. Okay. You're all dead already? What the heck, guys? Yeah, we suck, so what? Did we just go back in time? That's crazy. Try to stay alive a little longer this time. You know what? Suck it, game. It's time for the next question. What animal has the nickname Blue Flyer? Um. Um. Are these even things? This. Oh, fuck you, game. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Ugh, dip them in uh, dark cherry syrup. The cocktail can be cherry juice and prosecco. That sounds good. Oh, I would totally add luster powder. Oh my god, that's a great idea, Alma! I love it! I am adding that to the list. We are going to make that our trivia murder party cocktail. Golf claps! For Ama for giving us our TMP cocktail. Aw, you didn't make a password. That's okay. I can make one for you. How about one that rhymes with fart? It actually is fart, by the way. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. Are we not supposed to say you fart? Get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. Okay. If anyone figures out the password before time, that password did not hold. What the fuck? Um. Dead again, huh? This time it's dead for good. What the hell happened? I don't know what's going on. <gasps> okay. We're gonna reboot the franchise? Like, what the fuck? Alright, so the code is KSFT. I will put that down here in chat. Uh, HTTPS, da da da, www.jack. Come on. Dot TV. There is the link. 
God damn it, guy blew it up. <laughs> when the cherry syrup drips down the glass, it looks like blood. Okay, Alma, I need your help. I'm building a cocktail for Castlevania. I'm thinking, because it's based off of, like, what they drink in Wallachia, and it's kind of like a Manhattan, but I don't know how to simulate the flavor of blood. What would you recommend? Like, I don't know how to get the taste of iron and the taste of salt with one ingredient that's not blood to simulate that flavor. What would you recommend? Yeah, that's true, Emmy. <laughs> I mean, I would be totally down to giving like an um an umami property to a Manhattan or an umami property to a uh, sangria. So there's two options that I'm going with the Castlevania cocktail. Based on what they like to drink, it's kind of like Everclear, but it's a cherry liqueur. Somewhere in between is what they drink in actual Wallachia. Um, so I'm thinking it kind of goes with Manhattan or it kind of goes with the Sangria. If it's a Sangria, it's going to be red wine with the cherry Everclear and other things. Or it's going to be Manhattan, but I don't know how to simulate the flavor of blood. So... Liquor from a steel pitcher. That could work. Do we get to keep the name Murder Motel? Fuck yes, we do. And remind me at the very end, because I'm going to add that to my um, production spreadsheet. Hey, Kyle. All right, I'm going to assume that's everyone, and I'm going to hit everybody's in. Well, that's a good idea. If I do make it the sangria with the red wine, I could make it a red wine that was done in steel barrels versus oak barrels. And I know it sounds weird, but bear with me. So there's a big trend nowadays for um, Chardonnay that's done in steel barrels versus oak barrels. It's less of the oaky uh, vanilla caramelly flavor and more the... Like, have you ever had a Pinot Grigio? That's kind of the flavors that you get out of a steel barrel. It's very minerally. So we can go down that avenue. I honestly don't know where to go with this cocktail. I don't know. That's the only term I know of. No googling. The correct answer is who got the question right. That's the only golf term I know. The rest of you, time for consequences. <laughs> Doom service, work room 113. Oh no, I don't want it to it's taste like thing. blood, but I want that umami and salt. I'm going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? And I don't know how to simulate that in a cocktail. Hey, you. Pick the landing slots that kill. Oh, I totally will. Ooh. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. Well, oh, Andrew's bold. A game about gravity is about to go... Oh, are you yeah. fucking kidding me? All three of you! You know what? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I should have made the ball. my finger sounds. crooked? Just in case you like scores, here's where I keep them. <gasps> That's a good idea! Thank you, Ama. Oh, a Bloody Mary! What the fuck was I what thinking? That's you? genius! In Ghostbusters, okay, you are totally getting movie. credit for that. Oh shit. Um Oh, wait, I know. What I'm so stupid. It's time to redo the Bloody Mary since what's his name sank my last one. 
We will do a fucking Bloody Mary. This. This. He is the key master looking for his gatekeeper. It's time. Welcome back to the kingdom. I mean, yeah, you can simulate the texture. It's time for donations. And you can simulate the the, the color, the but if I'm making a cocktail for vampires, I feel like I'm remiss today. if I don't give them a Begin. something that kind of tastes like blood. I know it sounds really weird. Hurry up. Time for a credit check. But that means making a Bloody Mary with Everclear. Now that's interesting. Struck down by the Almighty Holy dollar. shit, I guessed right. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. You helped me out. Oyster sauce smells weird, but has a lot of umami. Oyster sauce needs its chance to shine in a Bloody Mary. And I am totally going to give you credit for that. Yeah, you think savory! Exactly! What gets a soccer or football player thrown out of the game? I don't even know. So, I mean, I've been doing a lot of... Yeah, they're big about cards. Um, I've been looking a lot into Wallachia, and they're big on Everclear, weirdly enough. And I think that could really add a lot to a Bloody Mary, and I'm really excited. Ooh, the Blood Lord. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. I need names because the goblet? Oh shit, hold on. Would have been more fun to watch. This is pretty much the end of the time. Why am I better at this when I'm under the influence? That's weird. I gotta get some harder math problems. <laughs> I'm two drinks in! I beat most of you! <laughs> um, sorry, what was I saying? Shit, I don't even remember. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Is it me? Oh, Next okay, there's question. still three of us. Five of us. Which of the following is a preposition? I don't know. I think it's this, but I don't know. Yes, I do have a goblet. I have a dragon goblet off of thank you for reminding me. Off of YouTube, and it looks so good, especially next to the whip. Follow me. Um Oh, it really was. I was just totally guessing. Congrats! All of you are entered in my scratch ticket giveaway. Just scratch and find three dollar signs and you get to live. I'm so excited! But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Scratch away! Oh yeah, and if you keep scratching- OH MY GOD I WON! Does that mean survive? <gasps> Does that mean survive? Thank you, Alma! I'm so like the cats love the fuck out of this whip. It's amazing. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. Thank you, Starlight. Do you help me? I had to. Okay, Alma and everyone in chat. Have you guys seen? Uh, the Netflix Castlevania series. If you have not, I cannot recommend it enough. Especially if you love Alucard. Go fucking watch it. It's so good. <gasps> oh my god, you're gonna love this. You are going to love this. Hang in there. The first couple episodes are a little dry. But... Once Alucard shows up, still alive. 
come with me. As you can. I'm sorry. Everyone else will be typing too. I'm if sorry. If you do a better job than you, you die. I'm moving my mic. Begins. Now, dear chocolate puff cereal, I love your product, but I fear your mascot. Peter the puff pig is clearly insane. His painted smile on the box is an obstacle I must overcome every time I prepare breakfast. Please just send me your delicious product in a clear plastic bag. Time's up. Okay, I don't know. Let me just. Uh, oh, I suck. And what's the result? But did anyone do better than you? If you're doing this on your phone, I have mad respect for you. Well, you failed. Oh, God, you beat me. And now you have a lot to answer for, and I don't want to be on that call, so good luck to you. <laughs> oh, How am I in the lead? I am not even conscious for this. Let's try another one. If I'm gonna make this hotel thing work, I need to keep better track of my spending. Excel? What am I paying my horologist for? Oh fuck, I don't know. Horologist. Um, I'm gonna say that, and I'm guessing. God damn it! Oh, you're a brat. Follow me. Fuck. Here we go. Okay. Wow, that's impressive, Alma. I this love escape rooms. Right? No. All you need to do is pause and take a deep breath. And when you resume, I know you'll have it all figured out. Okay. I I don't know what I wagered. What did I wager? Are you well, listening to me? Is the answer coming to you yet? What did I do? Oh, thank you, Alma. I don't know what I did. What did I do? You were so gonna be like, duh, when you figured out. Oh, fuck you, game. Aw, was that too abstract for you? Let's be more concrete. What the fuck? <gasps> Only one of you is You know here. what? You know what that means. I can't blame you, that was a game. <laughs> yeah, I know, what the hell? <laughs> Here's your first category. Rates of organisms in taxonomy. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. Oh, I guessed right! I wasn't sure if family was a thing. States with panhandles. Um. Time is almost up. I'm gonna say those. Fuck! Human coin! Oh, I got you now! I got you now! <laughs> I'm coming for you! <laughs> what the fuck are these? Damn it! I got most of them. Trouble. I don't bake. It's only darkness. I'm sorry. Acronyms. Acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> the tables 
have turned. Woo! The darkness approaches. It does. Metamorphic rocks. I don't know. I'm not a geologist. My sister is. Fuck. No. You won't be forgotten, whoever you were. What the fuck is this? No clue. Please don't get this, please don't get this, please don't get this. No! <laughs> I actually had a deck. And I forgot. Please. Cooking, cooking, cooking! Oh! I think I have this. I think I have this! I'm wearing one of them! You know what? I'm gonna give you guys another round. We're gonna reboot the franchise just because that was a ton of fun. The code is W E C W. I cannot believe I won that off of what God gave me. So happy. You missed. You missed your owner's crowning achievement, which she'll never have again. She knew the Victoria's secret line, and that's what saved her! I- she- do you see this? She could not care- look at this! She could not care less. Thank you, Emmy. We got two spots open if anyone wants them! No? Alright, we're gonna say everyone's in then. I won. <laughs> I died first and I can't believe I won. You won with boobs. It's a great day for all lesbian kind. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm left with at this point. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kyle. I won with bras. I'm I'm so gonna add that to the scissor reel somehow, some way. I'm adding that to the scissor reel. I'm gonna have to take the boob lady down to peg. Right. Oh, First oh, question. bring it. What has less than a day to reproduce before they die? I don't know. You I'm gonna say that. One small step for boobs. Hey, come on! This hurts at least like you. two steps. It's the classic game, <gasps> I miss chalices! Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Oh, I know which one. <laughs> one leap for gay kind. I don't know. I feel like I could make a lesbian oh, woman you. very happy, but I'm kind of all about the pecs, the shoulders, the... I mean, you know. Really? Oh, you're bold. 
Now that's what I'm talking about. I miss the red solo cup. Yes. It has been a while, that's true. No! A lot of this elevator, so just get used to it. I like this elevator. Let's keep moving. Okay. For whom does Chef Ina Garden often cook on her show, Barefoot Contessa? Her husband that doesn't exist? If you get the chance. Oh no! I thought it was all of the above. It's time. Well, here we go. Solidarity. To room two thirty-seven. Okay. Ring, 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 <laughs> I'm giving each of you a telephone. Okay. But I only have four phone numbers. Dial one of these numbers on your rotary phone before anyone else, or you die. Yeah, oh shit! This is how phones used to be. And don't get me started on life before answering machines. I did! Oh fuck. Don't you dare! Oh no, I totally agree with you, Alma. I uh, yeah, he is totally gay. just on the internet. Let's try another one. Who is the little redheaded girl that Charlie Brown adores? Um. Fuck, I don't actually know. Oh my god, I hail Mary that! <laughs> That's what they called me at work! I don't know how they got Heather from me, but I'm apparently Heather! It's magic time! Make a space in this box to hide <laughs> I wish I had a magician's assistant for this, but oh well. <laughs> oh. Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Oh, I got you. I'm giving you a very sharp sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your Done. Mind freak. Are you, <gasps> Are you kidding me? This is a crazy night. Players left alive. We'll go to the final round. Next question. I'm coming for you. How was Lady Gaga's meat dress preserved in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Frozen, dried. It's raw, but pumped full of chemicals, or the dress was discarded, a photo hangs instead. Oh god, it's one of these. I'm gonna say that, and I'm totally wrong. This. Fuck! <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Well, Don't fine, we're all wrong. Did you know that? Did this you know that? Fine, you who wakes me up at two in the morning? Else is playing too. Okay. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. <gasps> it may not look like it, but this is totally different than the math mini game. <gasps> Oh, God damn it. Rule time 
run is coming to an end. I fucked up. Ooh. You know that dress may actually be pretty delicious now. Megs, what's up, dude? How you doing? <gasps> One person's left alive, but I am the most muns! I don't care! I have the most muns! Oh, bring it on, Overlook. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? <laughs> Here's your first category. Always happen on a Sunday. Tap each answer that fits the category, and then press submit. I'm Hail Marying this, I don't know. I'm a horrible Catholic, cause I'm not a Catholic. Let's, up. Let's see the right answers. Oh, son of a bitch! That's what I picked! I don't know. Time is almost up. Please. Fuck. Thankfully, none of us know. Monogamous animals. Um, I'm gonna say that one because it's weird and very specific. Oh, that's one of them. Venomous animals. <laughs> I know what this means! Thanks to someone who would never let me forget the difference between venomous and poisonous. Oh, fuck. Don't fall behind. Here comes the darkness. No! Descriptions of the Grinch. I don't Time know. Son of a bitch! Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. <sighs> Honda vehicles. I don't know about one of them. Damn it! Lights out for well, you. I'm catching up. Countries with red, white, and blue flags. No. I think it's those. Son of a bitch! God damn it, I can't catch him! It's not over yet. If you want to break through that barrier, please! Please, cooking question! And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You got this? Oh, you know what? Fuck. Okay, that's cool. That is very cool. Alright, if you guys want to do one more round of that, let me know in chat and we will do that or we will call it here for tonight. That was a pretty impressive run. I, I, I can't be angry with that. That was pretty cool. So I take the boot lady down. Hey, you know what? I I grew these from scratch. Thank you. This is cooking from scratch right here. One more? All right. QZ. 
Oh, god damn it. Z-A-H is the code! That's a weird code. I will put it in chat. I mean, if you guys send me the timestamps, I will make as many clips as you want. Here is the link if you'd like to join us. www.jackbox.tv There it is. I will give you guys 20 seconds left. Oh, thank you, Andrew. That is very helpful. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody's in. Question. Which of these spooky sounding implements is a real tool? Oh. Use your device to answer the question. Oh, I actually know this. Oh my god. And the correct answer is. Yes! The question right. Me! The rest of you, follow me. I make a lot of IKEA furniture. I I don't tell you. We're at room 105. Oh hey, more dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score, but go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a score, <laughs> add one to everyone's score. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. Ooh. It's your last chance to sneak a few extra rolls in. Looks like you didn't roll enough. I'm trying to help! <laughs> You're laughing your ass off watching. Thank you, Mama. I always want to just push all the buttons. But don't worry, I'll stay focused. By the way, I hope you have a wonderful shower later. Let's keep moving. Dang it. The contractor made our death moat too small. <gasps> A lot, home advisor. Fuck you, home advisor. Where can I find a tiny crocodile? Um. No! Oh fuck! I think I fucked that up. No! No! Who picked? No! Ah! The rest of you who are still alive. Come with me. God damn it. Salutations! Welcome back to the killing room. No. More dice? No! <laughs> no! By handing out extra dice. Go ahead. Give your die to someone to make life harder for them. <laughs> Roll the dice. <laughs> Let's try another one. Okay. 
What is Nate Ryan's character screen name in You've Got Mail? Fuck! I should know this. Oh, I know this! <laughs> I love that movie! Yeah, I'm that- I'm totally that girl. I don't care. I will win! Thank you, Ama. Shop girl. Am I the only one who knew that? Where were you in the late 90s? Hopefully you can defend yourself. Haha! <laughs> Suck it, Andrew! To fix this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Okay. Including any potential mind readers. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, guy? That's fair. That's fair. Answer time is coming to an end. Uh oh. Oh. Answer. Big mistake. Yep. Anyway, let's see what everyone else did. No! Oh, Starlight, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> you know, Ama, that's fair. Oh my god, I'm in the lead! <laughs> Can I win two in a row? Here, the final round is close. Next question. Okay. What is not part of a classic BLT? Oh, please. Oh, please. You have no chance. Mm hmm. It should be, but it isn't. Let's keep moving. Because that would be awesome. What were the first names of explorers, Lewis and Clark? I don't know. I'm going to say that because. No, he did. <laughs> I hail Mary that. You don't need to be taught a lesson. It's my old friend, the loser Oh, God. Spin that thing. I don't wanna, 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 I don't wanna. Oh, no. No! What's gonna happen? Did you see that? You all die too easy. Did you see that? Someone alive. So <laughs> see, having the most money is good for something. The time has come. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I will. Here's your first category. Okay. Please no sports ball. Oh, come at me, bro. What? And you leave me? You know what? Time is almost up. They were. <gasps> Here comes the next question. Shirley Chaplin films. Um. Um. Fuck. 
God damn you, Andrew! Don't look behind you. Are you afraid of the dark? No, I'm afraid of Andrew. <laughs> knows that one. Pegasus, really? <laughs> Sharknado, I watched that once. If Stephen King was in this, I'd be really embarrassed for him. Okay, good. Tell me I got that. Please tell me I got that. Please tell me I got that. Yes. 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 yes! Okay. Oh, thank you. I am. Yeah. Andrew was right. We both had those technically right, but because I was alive, I got the advantage. But still. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to flex there. Hold on. Thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. Um, We don't have a new video in play because I don't have the best of neighbors, but... Because of actually Andrew's vote, we are going to be playing some super soothing, such a great, cool stream uh, for Wednesday. We're going to be playing some... Why did the name fall out of my head? We're playing some Kirby Extra Yarn. Extra Yarn? What the hell is wrong with me? We're playing some Kirby Epic Yarn. If you guys have not played that game, it is so soothing. It's so wonderful. I cannot recommend it enough. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let's see if Karabukai Play is uh, streaming tonight. We can go rate them. Da da da. Subscriptions. Let's see. They are not. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and wrap that up here. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Thank you so much for all the likes, the subscribes. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you, awesome people, on Wednesday for some Kirby Epic Yarn streams. If you're in the mood for something very calming, very relaxing for Wednesday, check us out here. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the stream, hit that like button and I will see you, awesome people, in our Wednesday night stream. Bye guys! <laughs>